What's going on everyone? This is John the Wolf of Ecom and in this video we're going to be talking about what not to do if you are banned, restricted, or disabled from advertising on Facebook. So without further ado, let's jump right in and if you haven't already, make sure to grab my free bulletproof program guide that's going to show you how to set up the same system for yourself, okay? So let's jump right in now. So the first thing you need to make sure not to do if you are banned from Facebook for a restricted profile, a disabled ad account, a disabled business manager is to make profiles, okay? So using devices just like this, they will work. Uh, you will actually have a higher success rate with uh, burner phones that are unlocked, cheap, simple phones like this with SIM cards than you will with reusing the same computers or iPads. I've tested this extensively. But the main problem you're gonna run into is creating a profile from scratch is extremely difficult today. It is not getting easier over time, so you will absolutely find yourself having issues, probably losing some, if not many, along the way and having to put in a lot of time with regular activity the show Facebook you are a real user and then populating the profile with pictures and you know taking the right actions to not get things disabled. So that is the first thing I recommend you do not do if you are banned, restricted, or disabled from advertising. Then what you should do in this case is get real profiles. There are people that sell real profiles all over the Facebook groups. You could probably do a Google search. Some are better than others. Some will scam you, some won't. You could always ask friends and family, I don't recommend it. It's usually a very uncomfortable conversation and you need to kind of explain yourself. It's not very fun saying, hey, I got disabled for nothing on Facebook, so let me use your account. I'm sure it'll go perfectly fine. What could go wrong, right? So that is my first tip is do not do this. Get real profiles and get them from resellers. My second tip is that you do not reuse the same credit card. So if you're like me, you will use the Amex Business Gold which will give you up to 99 um, uh, additional employee cards. So you get a total of 100 unique credit card numbers. There are virtual credit card services you can use as well. I'm just a big uh, fan and I'm supervised for Amex. Their reward system is phenomenal. So you get anywhere from 3X to 4X your first 100 to 150,000 you spend on ads, which you can easily do in a month if you know what you're doing. So to, to pass up, it basically is a discount back into your pocket depending how you spend those points. But also the fact that for a flat annual fee, a one-time annual fee of 99 bucks, they will give you an additional 99 of these unique cards. It is a steal in my opinion. You can use virtual credit card services as well. I'm just a big fan of Amex, so you can actually manage it a little better in my, in my opinion, okay? So do not use the same credit cards. Set up something like Amex Gold for your business, get the points, and then also have your backup cards. The third thing you need to make sure to not do if you are disabled or banned from advertising on Facebook is going to be to advertise very quickly, okay? So what I mean by this, let's say you get your new profiles. They're real. You get your new credit cards from Amex Gold, right? What you need to absolutely not do is log in and start trying to run conversion campaigns right away. There is a process, there is a step-by-step -step system that I've developed that will show you step-by-step -step how to go from first login with a profile to the point where you're advertising without constant headaches or issues, okay? So I'm not gonna go into super detail that is reserved for my course members, my coaching members, but to give you some general ideas and tips around this, basically what you wanna do, you wanna avoid what I call admin actions all at once. Admin actions being adding an admin to your business manager, creating a new business manager, adding a payment method. By stacking those actions all together at once, you are far more likely to see everything get disabled instantly. It's super frustrating. I couldn't figure this out for months and then finally I cracked the code on it and I've found that by stacking that spreading out your, your high level actions, payment methods, additional users on the account, things like that, it's gonna reduce your risk of insta bans, insta restrictions, and business managers, ad accounts, and profiles getting disabled for basically nothing. Okay, so take your time advertising. There is a process that you will need in place. I'm not gonna go into detail with that, but just know that the general idea is you do not wanna jump into running conversion campaigns super quickly. Another big mistake that people make and what you wanna avoid if you do find yourself disabled from running ads, restricted profiles, whatever it may be, is to leave your new business manager unverified. So let's say you, you get your credit cards, right? You get additional Amex Gold cards or whatever you choose. You get additional real profiles 
files, you set them up with a software like I talk about in some of my other videos, multi-login with proxies, which is the solution. And then you find yourself with being able to make business managers because you followed a good warm-up process properly. Well, if you rely on unverified business managers, you are absolutely asking for trouble. First of all, you're stuck at spending $50 a day with a single ad account. So you really can't go anywhere with your business, okay? The second thing is you are far more likely to see things instantly disabled, restricted, or banned for absolutely nothing. I've tested over 300 profiles in the last uh, 12 months or even less than that, and I've found that unverified business managers have a higher tendency to get flagged, restricted for whatever reason. The third thing is if you, let's say you do get disabled, the problem you're gonna run into is that you can't actually appeal it until you are verified, and good luck getting a disabled, unverified business manager verified. It just ain't gonna happen. I've tried it over and over again. It does not work. So make sure you have a verified business manager. I found some hacks and tricks to do that that I show in my course with my members. And you know, the, the general idea is you, you can actually refer back to one of my other YouTube videos where I talk about this, talk about how to verify that is the general process. Um, once again, there are some tricks and hacks because Facebook's really weird and it's taken a lot of trial and error to see exactly what they do and don't want. But you, will, you are crazy to not use a verified business manager. Also, let's say you verify your business manager, not only is it gonna reduce your risk of instant bans, instant restrictions, instant whatever, but also your spend limit is gonna jump to 250 day with your ad account. And then also as you spend money on that ad account, you're gonna very quickly unlock another two to four ad accounts. So a total of five ad accounts. 250 a day each, that gives you 1,250 US dollars you can spend day over day with a single business manager and that's just the start, right? So like the way we wanna scale is multiple business managers, multiple verified business managers, multiple ad accounts per, you know, just do the math on that, right? So that's 3,750, 3,750 US dollars that you can spend if you have three verified business managers fully unlocked and even just spending 250 a day. So do not uh, rely on unverified business managers as a big mistake. The next mistake that a lot of people make when they find themselves banned or restricted from advertising is they rely on one of these services that will rent you a profile with a business manager, uh, typically unverified. They usually charge you more for the verified business manager, which is insane. And then you basically get a user multi-login account, okay? Uh, first of all, you're getting ripped off, right? You don't need to pay someone 300 to $500 a month for access to one to two profiles. It's way, way smarter and way better investment to have a system built up like the Bulletproof system that I use, that I talk about, that I developed, that I help other people do too. And uh, the reason why is I actually tested these services myself just to kind of see what else is out there in the market to see if teaching people was the best option, which I believe it is still. Teach a, teach a person, teach a man, teach a person to fish. They'll feed themselves for the rest of their life, right? So that's my goal with, with my program. But just so you know, do not rely on these BS services. I'm not gonna name them, but I tested a few of them. Uh, some were okay, but just not necessary. It's a way better investment to build the system yourself. And one of them even just stopped responding because the account was locked out and I couldn't use it for like two weeks and I was just spending money and they weren't answering me. They didn't actually start answering me until I said I was gonna charge it back. And then I ended up charging it back because they stopped answering again. So uh, do not, I'm not, not gonna drop names, not gonna say who it was, but I do not recommend these services. I, do, I think it's a complete waste of money. So I would recommend you build up a system of your own. The next tip I have for you, and one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is that they try to do things the cheap way, right? So by that, I specifically mean skipping out on high quality services and software such as multi-login. They try to go for the cheap or free versions, such as what Incognition offers. It is a good alternative, but it's not the best. It, with this stuff, I want the lowest amount of risk and headaches and room for error, margin for error, when it comes to my profiles being uh, locked out, restricted, whatever, instantly. I wanna know it's because of something I did, not because of the, the tools and subscriptions and softwares I'm using. So that's why I recommend you use multi-login. There is no question that is the best. These guys, I've had conversations with them personally. They are on the front lines of, of this industry within an industry 
right? With, with developing these softwares that you can host multiple browser sessions and with different proxies. They are the original, they are the best, they are constantly making updates and I can't recommend them enough. So do not be cheap, do not go for the, the low cost free versions out there. Just go with multi-login is hands down the best option. And the biggest mistake I see people make when it comes to building out a system for themselves of profiles, verified business managers, uh, and then also maintaining it is relying on one thing, relying on one profile with one verified business manager or even an unverified business manager and hoping and, and praying that that doesn't break, get disabled, shut down, right? So I teach this to all my clients. You wanna have a not only an army of profiles, business managers, verified business managers and pages as well, but you also wanna have an infrastructure and a setup so that if one thing gets disabled or restricted for some odd reason, whether you're doing something right or wrong, that it doesn't shut everything down. I want it to be a hiccup, not like a cold that puts you in bed for a week, right? Figuratively speaking about our business. I'm okay knowing that Facebook is going to absolutely disable, restrict things without rhyme or reason most of the time. That is commonplace now. What I'm not okay with is relying on one thing and then getting being angry at everyone else because that one thing got disabled, restricted, or shut down. So the answer is to have multiple assets, multiple profiles, multiple verified business managers, have them all warmed up, have pages as well that are not going to see a, a drop in the feedback score, which is usually like a domino effect to disable your profiles, restrict them from advertising, disable your ad accounts, which then in turn disables your business manager. So if you need help with this, I can definitely help you. The best place to start though, because I am pretty limited for time with this, I run my own stores, I have this YouTube channel, and I have my own uh, groups as well that I'm servicing directly. Start with my free bulletproof guide, which you can get below this video if you're watching this on YouTube, for example. That's gonna show you an overview of my system. And if this is something you're looking for help with, I can absolutely help you set this up, whether it's us doing it together, or me doing it for you, or you're doing it on your own. There are a number of ways that you could have something like this because in, in 2021, you need this. You cannot run on Facebook without headaches with using alternative methods, right? So if you haven't already, check out that free guide. If you got something from this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have questions, as always, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.